shots through. They gon' act, but they know what I do. Say, can you be bucket just pass on? First one I see, he get packed on. Make it be catching alleys or crack boards. I do A big night at a great venue, the Parc des Princes, here in the French capital, Paris. I'm Derek Ray, ready to bring you match commentary, and alongside me is Stuart Robson, and a potentially exciting occasion on the cup front. It's Paris Saint-Germain versus Le Havre. Well, the hosts certainly go into this game as strong favourites. They have better technical players and can be brilliant when everything clicks. But their opponents are well-organised, resilient and pose a threat on the counter-attack. Therefore, an early goal will be the main priority for the home team. And blocked for now. Useful looking position, you've got to say. Gomez. Unsuccessfully cut out. Chance it on. Opportunity brilliantly blocked. Delivering it. Great reflex action. Well, that should have been a goal. Mind you, it's a brilliant save. And there's the delivery. And he did what he had to do defensively. Well, a corner right on the back of the last one. Who can he pick out? Might jump in front. Effective challenge. Tremendous block. Body in the way again. And into the clutches of the goalkeeper. Well, who will be the player to decide the outcome, to determine the course of events? No reason at all why it won't be this man, Stuart. What do you anticipate seeing from him? Oh, big moment here, Derek. And he couldn't bag the first goal of the contest. Well, I can't believe he's missed the target there. That's a poor finish. Nicely cut out. Now what can they do from here? A goal! On the back of sustained pressure. Now they deservedly hold the advantage. And underway again here with PSG in front. And giving the ball to the opposition that time. So a throw in here.
to Ram. Nicolo Zaniolo. Well, they've given him too much space. Well, he was a long way from goal, but that didn't seem to bother him. Well, he won't strike a football much better than that. That certainly had the keeper worried. Bar. And that was a move of great promise. They could easily have been in. Totally fooled him. Opportunity here. And the keeper getting across to stop it. Playing it in. And the problem not completely solved. An alert intervention. And he could well be sent off for that. But I think we were all wondering what the verdict would be. The answer, a yellow card, Stuart. Well, he's just about got a... Oh, magnificent free kick. But the keeper producing a save to match it. And a corner for Paris Saint-Germain. What can they do with it? And a no-nonsense clearance. And the keeper able to hold on to it. PSG looking dangerous. And that'll be the goalkeeper's ball. So getting close to the half-time interval and PSG with the lead. Stuart, what strikes you about what you've seen from them in this half? Well, they've worked hard and played well to be in front here, but they now need to keep their focus as we approach half-time. Now with Turam. Well, they've lost possession of the ball. And giving the ball away. The story so far is one of failure in possession. Setting off perhaps a little bit too much here. Now with Turam. Superb block. Committed challenge. Great opportunity. In it goes. Delighted to be two in front. Things look good for them now. So 2-0 now. Toure, Nolan Mbemba, Bar. And well, they're moving the ball neatly enough, just looking for that decisive pass. They've won back possession. Well, the electronic board showing one additional minute. Turam. And so the half-time whistle has gone here at the Parc des Princes in Paris. PSG. Thank you.
The camera's trained on Parejo, and we can confirm this now. He'll be retiring at the end of the season. Stay with us, you're watching EA TV. And hello from the city of Lille with its strong mining tradition near the Belgian border. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting next to me here on the commentary gantry is the former Arsenal and West Ham United midfield man, Stuart Robson. And very excited to be bringing you live action from Ligue 1, the top division here in France. It is Lille against Paris Saint-Germain. Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. Is this the moment? There it is, and just the ideal start. Well, here's the replay, and he shows great awareness to play this through ball. And there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He really hits it with power and accuracy. Nothing the keeper can do about that. Now back underway, and 1-0 it is. Let's see what happens next. Really good challenge. And now can he keep calm? It's got to be, and a goal! The quick one too, and they've turned this game on its head. Well, here we can see just how good this goal is. It has everything, skill, pace and power. There was no stopping him there. Well, a second goal for them here. Won it back. Keeping the opposition at bay with that splendid challenge. Well, closed down straight away. Oh, he's missed, but by a minuscule margin. Well, he couldn't have made better contact than that. His technique is brilliant. He's so unlucky there. Well, it's tight at the top and extremely tense, just as we would want it, Stuart. Well, it looks like being a very close race for the title, doesn't it? There's nothing to choose between the teams, but can one of them just go on a great run and pull away? Superb defensive judgment to end the attack. Oh, great vision. And denied by the keeper. Impressive. Now sending it in. Taking care of business defensively here. There to take it away. Now a goal has gone in in the Marseille game. Let's hear more from Alex. It's a goal for Marseille. They've scored the opener with 20 minutes played. Cheers, Alex. A oh, terrific pass. One of the big stories prior to this match, no doubt about it, Angel Di Maria. And the reports have been confirmed. He has decided to end what's been a brilliant career at the end of this season. A huge loss for the club, you've got to say, Stuart. Well, what a player he's been, and still is. But he obviously thinks his body can't cope anymore, which is a great shame. They're certainly going to miss him here.
Well, as the stats confirm, PSG have had the lion's share of possession. Yes, they've played well when going forward. Oh, wait a moment, Stuart. Look at what's happening. Oh, and it goes! Now he has his hat-trick. A special moment for him. Here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease, and it's just a change of pace. And when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish, which gives the keeper no chance. So the action continues. It's been all PSG so far, and you sense there could be extra punishment dished out. And a fine tackle. Thwarted him almost effortlessly. It looks promising. And given away. Well, I can tell you there's been a goal at the Orange Vélodrome, but who has scored it? Let's find out by joining Alex Scott. Yes, it's a goal for Montpellier. It's all even Stevens at 1 1 with 31 minutes played. Thank you, Alex. Well, there's been an immense amount of focus on Parejo ahead of this game. If you believe the stories coming out of the camp, this could be his final season. Could he be thinking about hanging up his boots? Yeah, if the rumours are correct, it's going to be a big loss for the club. They've come to rely on his performances. We all get to that age where it all becomes a little bit harder on the body. He's starting to get to that age, so I wouldn't be too surprised. Well, you've got to keep the ball a bit better than that. Well, sitting deep like this might be a dangerous game. There to win it back. Edon Zegrova. And it's with Mancini. Zegrova. Mecha. Oh yes, a goal! Exactly what they were looking for, and he's come up with it. So back underway at 3-1. Well, something has happened at one of the other venues. Let's get the up-to-date news from Alex. Yeah, it was a penalty for St Etienne, but... Will it be? Well, here's the replay, and just look at that power. That's almost unstoppable. That's a great strike. Blistering first half display, and just look at that score. Lucas Mecha. Excellent challenge. Now he must favour the cross. And thwarting his opponent in the nick of time. Well, the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game. Substitution at
the man of the moment. After four goals in his last match, what next? This is EA TV. Well, hello from Paris, the city of light, and in this case, the city of sun. It's a perfect day for football at the Parc des Princes. I'm Derek Ray, and joining me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And we have action from the round of 16, just seconds away now. It's Paris Saint-Germain, and they take on Nîmes. Well, the hosts certainly go into this game as strong favourites. They have better technical players and can be brilliant when everything clicks but their opponents are well-organised, resilient and pose a threat on the counter-attack. Therefore, an early goal will be the main priority for the home team. And PSG pushing forward with options available. Really good high press. Well read to ease the pressure. Well, he always has to be regarded as a dangerous opponent, so what should we expect to see from him in this Derek, game, this could Stewart? be a goal here. That's great goalkeeping. Well, what a save that is. He was so alert there. Who's going to get on the end of it? Not the result from the set piece they were looking for. Wijnaldum. Jules Koundé on the ball. Sinistera. Can they nudge in front? Oh, a tremendous block. Can they get in behind them? And the keeper got there. So the corner played into the box. And foiled only by the crossbar. Just wanted to get it out of there. Has eyes for goal. And the keeper diving to thwart him. Well, the crowd are willing them to score here. They've created so many chances. And over it comes. Luis Sinistera. Teammate in support. Surely. Oh, yes. 1-0 it is. And it doesn't come as a huge surprise. Well, let's have another look at this because he does really well to pick the right pass here and there's certainly no doubt about the finish he really hits it with power and accuracy nothing the keeper can do about that so the match has restarted one nil here and the pass was just that little bit off nearly found its target An effective challenge. And they need to get tighter here, but quick thinking defensively. Clattered away. Eliasson. An effective ball. Wonderful challenge and a throw in coming up. Musa Kone using all his defensive acumen to cut it out. PSG looking dangerous. Shot attempted. Flinging himself at it, the keeper. Over it comes. And a goal kick given. Might be a chance here. 
Oh, he squandered the chance, and he knows it. Well, it wouldn't have counted anyway. He was offside, but nonetheless, that was a poor attempt. And he's taken it away. It looks promising. Sinistera. Takes the shot. Palmed away by the keeper. Well, that save just about keeps them in this. But they have to pose more of a threat at the other end. Well, there's been... Quite a bit of interest in Everton's new acquisition. This has finally gone through, Stuart. Well, he's a great talent. Hopefully this move will see him play at his best week in, week out. It's a really good move for everybody. Won it back. Kukchu. And PSG pushing forward with options available. And a throw in forthcoming. Turan. Tremendous block. Now, counter attacking possibilities here. Well, it petered out. Well, as the stats tell us, PSG have dominated the ball in the last 15 minutes and have been threatening with it. Surely it's only a matter of time before they get another. to square the game once again exhilarating back underway level pegging one goal apiece in this game well they have the ball once more playing with purpose and control can he give them the advantage well, they're going to be very cross with themselves because that was a wasted opportunity. And room now out on the wing. Did well to win the ball back. And possession given away. And the fourth official confirming that we'll have one additional minute. Eliasson. Well, possibilities inside the box. Just made sure nothing came of that. Fine cross into the middle. And so the half-time whistle has gone here at the Parc des Princes in Paris. So here we go, the start of the second half at the home of PSG, the Pac de Prince. Yassine Ben Rahou. It's a neat move. It looks as though they had attacking momentum, but not so. That is a wonderful challenge, and they've kept the ball to boot. Chance, maybe. Well, he stumped it out of there without much fuss. It's opening up for them. Well, he has players waiting at the back post. And it wasn't quite as good as it looked when it left the boot. Well, just a reminder, we have more live football from Liga coming your way right here on EA TV. Derek, this could be a goal here. Well, it was down to whether or not he could beat the keeper, and that question has been answered. Well, I'm all for players striking through the back of the ball with power, but he has to hit the target from there. Musa Kone. Fomba. Can they get in behind them? 
And the cross is very much on. A oh, super piece of play. And given the defender's touch, the referee says corner. Who can they pick out? Not really the ideal clearance. And the Parisians have lost possession. Fomba. Well, they keep the ball moving. Ben Rahu. The cross is on. Making sure nothing untoward happened. And so 30 minutes left for play in this one. And snuffing out the danger. And it crossed the byline, a goal kick as a result. Well, not quite what he wanted to do with the pass. And that pass could be troublesome. Well, a chance here, perhaps, to invigorate their aerial targets. PSG are going to switch things around on the personnel front. Now sending it in. And clears his lines. Wanted to keep it, but couldn't. Jorginho Wijnaldum. An effective ball. It might be on for them. Perfect challenge. Twenty minutes to go in this one. To Ham. Defensive Brazilians to shut them down. And the counter attack is on. Options available. And they know they need to stop him. Well, it fizzled out. As you can see, he's a great talent. What a run, what a goal, and what a play he is. What it's a big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? Decent position. Oh, could be. The save was a good one. Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. And over it comes. Just the clearance that was called for. Body in the way. The high press was very much on. Can he finish? Oh, magnificent from the keeper. Fantastic stop. Musa Kone. Breaking at pace. Now just couldn't keep the ball. That's the kind of shielding play you expect from him. And players waiting in the centre. Thumped clear. Committed challenge. Must score! Oh, great save to keep the minute. Well, that's a brilliant save, and it just gives them that little bit of hope now. And a substitution in the offing. Playing it in. 
Well, to be blunt, misfiring with the header. Trailing as they are, they're not likely to get too many opportunities late in this game. Poor pass under no real pressure. And space for the cross. Well, good play to stop the ball going in. Insufficient guile on the crossing front, you've got to say. We are going to have two additional minutes. And the advantage is with PSG. Possession changes hands, the interception there. There's the final whistle. The home fans are jubilant. They are going through. Funny feeling deep in my stomach, ain't nobody laughing. Ah, I think the joke's on me. Feel it in my bones, feel it in my soul, feel it in my spirit. No, I shouldn't put it all on me. If I do, cancel. If I don't, either way, I'm wrong. I'm just trying to get me. Didn't have a heart, so I took a quarter, sipping all the water while I listened to hip hop. Girl, see, there's a war going on outside. Nobody see it but me. There's a war going on outside. Nobody see it but me. Still don't watch the news. No, no, no. Cause my ain't you. So be careful what you say. Views. Tried to talk about it, tried to walk around it, tripping, now I'm drowning, I'm a aura, got them ocean blues, felt like I'm above it until it's my cousin, and I gotta tell his mama what I did not do, why weren't he with you, am I that removed, am I just confused, I don't make the rules, they make me, there's a war going on outside, nobody see it but me, there's a war going on outside Nobody see you but me I am summer nights I put my hope in embers of the day I was in a phase with the dark stem Nothing to communicate with everything to say I can't be out here begging for pardons Nah, no, me and sort of went up before we were asked If we could build a rhythm, we were questioning the answers Even if it didn't drop, it's something out and out and watch me I'll be out here regardless I said I didn't need a reason I'ma make a bit and catch a wind before I sleep it I'ma need some things out of this place It made me need a, a penny for your thoughts or a pan for your thinking Wait, I'm thinking I'ma need some cheese just to dip in Just an ab not you at once And I had the feeling I could feel it I could have everything that I didn't I said I could have everything that I didn't I didn't There's a war going on outside what do you see about me? About me.
What a mouth-watering prospect this is. Two genuine heavyweights of European football, both with the potential to go all the way. It's difficult to pick a winner here. We have all the action for you live on EA TV. And welcome on a rainy night. The heavens opened earlier and it just hasn't relented. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, and my partner, ready to bring you all the analysis and technical talk, is Stuart Robson. And we have action from the Europa League knockout stages coming right up. It is Slavia Prague against Paris Saint-Germain. Well, Derek, I can only see one outcome here because the talent PSG possess has to be good enough to win this game. They just need to show the right attitude and play at their best. Determined defending. Well, here we can see it again. Look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself. And then the shot could not be hit any better. Struck with such venom. Great goal. So the match has restarted. 1-0 here. Bad pass. And space to exploit, maybe. Flag up, tight offside. Well, he's the player many people have focused on in the build-up to today's match. And the reports have been confirmed. He will, in fact, end his career at the end of the season. No two ways about it, Stuart. A big loss for the club. Yes, it really oh, is. Oh, they might score here, Stuart. And with that, they've thwarted the opportunity. Getting the ball forward. Firing it towards goal! Well, the shot seemed like a good option, but goalkeeper's ball. Extremely sloppy in possession. Opportunity it is. And a goal! Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace on the counter-attack. They were so quick to break out from their defensive positions, and once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique. What an emphatic finish that is. So, 2-0 now. Kukchu. Nicolo Zaniolo. Another eyeing that final pass you just feel. Oh, beating his opponent with ease and not cleared away properly. Oh, right in the nick of time. Well, that was a magnificent save. Just how did he keep that out? That's incredible. Far from a good pass. on goalkeeping there played over clears it away tremendous block a sloppy pass is it going to end up being productive for them gives it a go couldn't grab hold of it oh, just mistimed his run and the flag going up And a fine tackle. Good visualisation and execution. And successfully cut out. And the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. Well, they seem to be onto something positive, but it faded away. Kukchu. 
Mastery of the passing game. Not a touch off the defender, last of all. So a corner. Trying to pick out a teammate. Well, trying to build a head of steam. Another corner it'll be. Trying to deliver it accurately. And there it is! Another goal! And surely there's no way back from this now! Well, here's the replay. It's certainly a well bit of a ball into the area. And it's a comfortable finish in the end, which is made to look so easy. It's a lovely goal. the ball rolling again and Paris Saint-Germain are really cantering to victory it appears good tackle Sinistera dangerous looking attack going about his defensive business with a minimum of fuss the pass could do damage and he clears the danger crossing into the middle and a no-nonsense clearance great effort to keep that one in play and take it away he won the ball Turan. Luis Sinisterra. Take it away. An attack full of promise. A goal! And I'll tell you what, on this sort of form, very few would lay a glove on them. Well, as you can see, he hits this with so much power. But just look at the follow through. So athletic. That's a dynamic strike blistering first half display and just look at that score Petr Shevchik Sergian Plavšić and space to cross it splendid tackle and a throw in coming up to intervene I'm putting it wide from there a pity really PSG Eyes low, mad lean, blame it on the Got a wealth of knowledge, you should listen 
on when I speak. I was probably the hardest kid in the class to teach. Come get on my level, come get on my level. From a young and true, I've been a different kind of rebel. Coming. They gon' act what they know what I do. Say, can you be broken? Just pass off. First one I see, he get packed off. Then he be catching alleys or backboards. I do 10, I get let off the line.